hello everyone welcome back welcome back i got a uh little walk along here just walking in my local neighborhood area it's not gonna be that far actually so uh anyways so i got uh, a little uh telescope on my back probably seen it maybe i did a review on it or unboxing i'm gonna actually take it out and use it well, i've been using it the hard part is using the uh phone adapter because uh it's a, such a narrow field of view that uh i literally uh i literally uh can't keep the camera still it shakes a lot it's the slightest movement and it just starts shaking like crazy so I'm just gonna go out here in the field and uh, try to see if I could uh, catch a bird so but I I have been using it I was gonna ride the bike today but uh, I rode the bike yesterday and I am sore from hacking away with the machete. So I want to give my body some uh, recovery time. And uh, unfortunately, the day after, I think tomorrow and the rest of the week, I will be, uh, it's going to be raining. The weather is going to start turning here. And so uh, don't have a, another chance to ride. I, I would like to ride, but uh, I'm, I'm just a little sore. I just like to recover a little little bit today so anyways all right I'm gonna be probably underneath that tree I'm wearing all black because it's uh winter time actually last night it hit freezing but it's it's probably like 60 degrees right now, which is perfect weather. Offhand, I don't see anything, but it gives me a chance to uh, test out the uh, telescope and see how, uh, how well it works. All right, everyone, I am back. And uh, sorry if it took so long, but uh, this tripod is not the greatest in the world. Every time I get a wind blowing here, it will knock the uh, knock over the uh, tripod. Uh, of course, I don't have it standing completely, but uh, still. So I got a <laughs> I, I got the uh, camera mount on there as best as I can get it on there, and it's still shaking. And it's still shaking, but. Uh, what do you expect from a portable, a portable uh, telescope here? So that's what it looks like. Now I know it's kind of shaking just a little bit, but uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna have to adjust this again. Uh, try to open oh, this lays up a little bit better. That just threw me off. Let's see if I can. Well, there's an antenna right there, but I don't want to. Let's see. I want to see that. Let me see this. There we go. All right, perfect. So, all right, there you go. <laughs> Tripod's a little bit better set up. So the camera mount on this, it it works. Uh, I have the 20x filter or 20x lens. Or I should say the 20 millimeter lens with the uh, diagonal lens on it, so you can see it right side up. I didn't even bother using the, uh, the finder because it's just uh, it's just easier to use the 20 millimeter lens. Um, and also, if you look at the front, you'll notice I only have the center middle piece right there uh, removed. So, and I can still see through it. I'm zoomed in. 
I think I'm zoomed in at 200% on the uh, on the camera. But uh, man, if you just to give you an idea how far away that is, I mean, with my naked eye, I can't see that little white piece of antenna. You see the what are those orange? I can kind of see that from my eye, naked eye, but you can see it really well through the camera now. It's windy. Sorry if it's shaking a lot. Um, the field of view is narrow, so the you really need a a heavy tripod, but that would defeat the purpose of having this as a portable telescope. So, um, anyways, testing it out, giving it a try, and uh, I'm very impressed by it. You can see very far away. Now, the problem is with the camera, it's very, very shaky. Now, if you look, I'm not doing anything, and it's just shaking from the wind. But if you look with your naked eye, it's not that bad. It's just trying to capture it on camera is what makes it tough. Uh, it's the hard part about it. But yeah, I am uh, I am just uh, having fun. I mean, this is like, uh, um, I feel like I'm uh, spying from uh, space. That's what it feels like, but of course you're not. So these are just antennas out here. That's the only thing I can view. The land out here is very flat, but there might be some planes or some other stuff that I'll, I'll look at. It's really hard to video because it's more shaky. Your field of view is so narrow. But it's amazing the detail that I can see on that. And this is just 2x. This is 2x. Let's see what happens if I uh, make it 4x. Wow, I can really see a lot more detail. Um, what you will notice, or what you will see, is that uh, you'll see like little, um, I don't know, waves. The image is kind of waving. That's how I can just describe it. It's, um, and that's just a heat wave, or the heat rising from the surface of the Earth. And you're getting that, that mirage image. Uh, that's common, just to let you know, so you'll get that. So when you look at the stuff, it won't be perfectly clear, but uh, that's just the heat rising from the Earth's surface. And uh, If I can uh, zoom in 8x, see what kind of... Yeah, it gets kind of a little blurry because of the... Uh, the uh, And you can see it's, when I'm zoomed in this far, it... Uh, really start shaking. Let's see, image stabilization's on, so, but you can see the heat wave really well on this. Let me zoom out to uh, 2x, which is more ideal. You can kind of see the heat wave on it. Yeah, so that's, that's what you expect, especially if you're seeing with the telescope. But still, you can see pretty well. Look at the detail on that. And this is, uh, again, this is just, I think this is, uh, 20 times magnification. So 20 times magnification. Uh, I have the other lens, but it's just field of view is way too narrow, and I can't see anything through the camera. It's just too hard. So I recommend like the uh, 20 millimeter lens instead of the 10 millimeter lens. 10 millimeter lens is like 40 magnification, 40 times magnification. So you're going to get a very, uh, very distorted view, in my opinion. There you go. Just want to share that with you, and that's probably all I'm going to show. And uh, I'll try to uh, pull a camera out and do a 1x view from the camera to the antenna, just to give you an idea of what it would uh, what it would look like. All right, so this is the view that I'm looking at, and uh, I'll show you the 1x. Okay, so this is 1x. And in the middle, you'll see the antenna. It's a uh, 2x. There's the antenna. 4x. There's that antenna right in the middle that I'm looking at. This is 8x. Now, this is a digital zoom from my camera, but that's what you were looking at. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Oh, 
All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with the Celestron, Celestron telescoping. That was tremendously fun for me. Did enjoy it. I'll tell you that much, I did enjoy it. Didn't see too much. I saw helicopters, some birds. Um, also, uh, you know, some planes. I saw Southwest plane. I think it was landing because it was just uh, going down. Probably Hobby Airport close by around here. So. Anyways, I'm headed back home because I had uh, a lot of fun. And uh, on my way back home after this. All right, everyone. So I'm going to go uh, put all this together. Got the telescope in my backpack here that's made for it and I'll be uh I'll be uh home soon enough so I I like the telescope a lot it's fun it's fun anyways anyways we'll do some time travel here Walking about. All right, so this is going to be end of uh, end of the video here. Just going to walk on home, and uh, hopefully you'll have uh, fun watching uh, watching this video. So bye bye for now.